What is up guys, welcome back to the uh, channel. I'm just gonna go through uh, the new YouTube rules. Well, the thing is with these new YouTube rules, it's just been a fact. We, my channel is on 278 subs I believe at the moment. Let me just clarify that. Yes, 278 subs need a thousand subs. And also 4,000 watch time hours in the next year to um, be able to be monetized. I'm at 5,000 minutes out of 10,000 that I was needing fucking two days ago. So I'm a bit pissed off at that one, but I'm not getting mad and trying about everything for some reason. There's n I have nothing I can do. I just need to work harder. Give you guys content, which over the next year I will be doing a lot more content because I'm busy in January and it's the 18th of January and I've not uploaded a video yet. Sorry about that. Well, by the time this comes out, I've already had a video up. The main problem that I've noticed with YouTube is you got these big YouTubers like Logan Paul who did Suicide Sorry. Suicide Forest. Yeah, it's short a dead body. Well, <laughs> he lost his YouTube bread series. 12 months ago, PewDiePie did a joke. And it was a joke. Taking the piss. And he got his YouTube bread taken off him. The Wall Street Journal took, um, took YouTube advertisements away. But Logan Paul's Suicide Forest been the recent annoying thing. But have you noticed these big YouTubers making the problem for the small content creators who suffer? These big YouTubers don't lose money or anything. Because if you if they, they lose money, that means YouTube loses money. Well, if YouTube loses money from taking down a bad person someone who is affecting everybody on the channel and on the site then so be it there is for every one top person there's 10 people to take his place take Logan Paul down you've got other people who can go into that slot and then fans who are more responsible for the children he is a child. He aims towards children who are idiots and don't understand what he is doing. This is apparent with the Suicide Forest stuff. You don't understand. So you stop that from these bigger YouTubers, right? And if this, the smaller channels also do that, take them down for doing that, then you get a more streamlined more conservative, shall we say, view of everything. And having a more conservative view and more politically correct site means more adver the advertisers will come back for you. It's simple business. It's not a hard thing to do. Sitting here making this video for you guys isn't a hard thing to do. Let's be honest. And there's people making millions just doing stuff like this. The people who make the millions and make loads of money to put content out that shouldn't go out. Suicide Forest should not have gone out, but it's all about the money with them. Oh, I'll go to a Suicide Forest, oh wait, there's a dead body here. Oh, I'll just record it. You don't do that. If I'm out on the bike and I see someone trying to jump off a bridge, I don't upload that. Why would I upload it? That's somebody who is obviously not in the right frame of mind, who needs help. You help them, you don't up upload that part. There's a lot of things that people do, they don't get recognition for, because it's not on film. It's a way of life. Now, I don't talk about my family stuff. My mother's got severe depression and severe mental health problems. I don't talk about that, and I don't go, oh, it's a ten end of the world for me. I deal with it. I care for her. This is why I can give you content guys. This is why I can record videos 
while Soul Cat's working and whilst Jamming is in uni, I that I've got a good opportunity here to give you content. I don't go out riding all the time, especially when it's fucking pissing down and snowing and grim weather. I help people. Right, Jamming and Soul Cat and the Shanyo, I think he's told now. But well, a friend from school. I'm shouting people's channels out. People who subscribe to me, I look at your channels, and if I see you doing good content, I will shout you out. I don't care. I'd rather help you all out, and help grow the platform, and grow people, and help people make a living doing something they love. This is all I'm going to say on this matter, and I believe Jamin will be editing this whilst I do stuff around the house and there's a lot of things going on personally that's why I'm busy all January so Jamie's going to take over the reins of this uh, for the time being I'm going to have uploaded a lot of videos um, game related and some content to do with updates and hopefully a year in review will be uploaded by this time hopefully uh, but see you all later. Peace.